Hey guys, Rich here. Welcome back to the RC Informer YouTube channel. We're at CEF 2021. We lowered the music a little bit. We're going to show you guys a brand new plane. This is uh, the uh, Hobby Zone Technum 2010 High Wing Trainer. Um, uh, I have floats for it too, so we'll do a float demo right after that. Runs on 3S. Assembled really easy. We did do an unbox on the channel the other day, so check it out. I'll put a link in the upper right hand corner of the screen that you can click on and check out the unbox of this thing. Um, I'm running in here a 3200 3S pack right in there and it's just all the way as far forward as I can get it. This does have a vector gyro system in it. Um, it has really nice details on it. Um, Adam, right here there's an antenna right here. There's one right here and there's one underneath right here. There's a pass through right here for the floats. And there's your float mounts. And if you guys check out the unbox, you'll see how nice the landing gear was to get together. Grass is a little tall here, but this seemed to handle it okay. There's a little grass in the wheels. But uh, real easy assembly and disassembly. There's cotter pins here. And there's cotter pins here to get your wing struts on. Um, and then you remove eight screws to get your floats on and you put your pass through for your floats. But tricycle gear, I flew it once today and it was flying real well. All the rods, horns, linkages are installed when you get this thing. So uh, they even have the little fuel tubes on them and everything. So you can check this plane out at Hobby Zone. Um, the tail went on with a single screw. I think the screw went through, well here, the screw went through right there if you can see it. You just move the rudder out of the way. Yep. And it goes right down in there. Tail goes on. So really easy assembly. Four screws for the wings and, and that's it. Nice latch mechanism. And I think that's all the talking I need to do. Um, I put in a high, medium, and low rate for my ailerons, so, um, and it does have stabilization, so I assign that to this three-position switch. So right now it's off. This is in wing leveling mode when I go up. It's all working, pitch roll and yaw. And uh, when I put it down, that's in the stabilization. Again, center's off, so you ready to fly? You bet. Let's go. So a few planes taking off here, and let's go with it here. I did a little elevator to flat mixing, but let's uh, let's take off and see how it is. We got a little crosswind. Got a guy landing. All right, let him come in. Bearcat's coming in. Here, film over there real quick. Film my yeah. Bearcat coming in. That's a legend hobby plane. Yeah, that's a nice Bearcat. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, that's a wood model. Real nice. Holy smokes. Lots of stuff going on here at Ceph, guys. It's only Tuesday, so not everyone's arrived yet. All right, I think we're good to go. You ready? I think so. I will right, we'll drive it out. This grass is a little tall. I think my home field, the grass would be a little better because it's more like a packed dirt. So you can see those wheel pants kind of get in the way of everything, but it does the job okay. All right, here we go. Take it off. There we go. I found this plane is actually pretty aerobatic. I'm kind of impressed at how nice it flies. It's a high wing trainer type plane, but man, it it's uh, this is no stabilization. It's got the wingtip lights too, so. It's got a little bit of lighting. We got a crosswind, so that's why it's weather baiting us. I'm just gonna kind of go slow going by. Yeah, we got a crab angle going on there. Full power, I'm just gonna go up with it. You can see it's got some power. I'm pointing straight up there and it's going. That's not bad for 3S, 3200. Kick the rudder over. We'll come straight down, I'll pitch out. All right, did you lose me? I got you. No, I'm over here. <laughs> Oh, dude. Yeah, no, that's oh all right. Come God. on over here. That's it's all right. another plane. No, that's okay. That's okay. That's all right. Just get back on it. You're good. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You <laughs> that's went okay. Up it's okay. You're allowed to be imperfect. <laughs> this is an imperfect world. Believe me. Awesome. Okay. Let's try that again. I'm going straight up. Here, let's see. You got it okay? Yeah, I do. All right. That's all right. I'm going to kick Look it over. power. Yeah, it goes up there. I mean, I had to, yeah. I mean, that's a hammerhead coming down. Let me yeah. turn a little bit. Sorry, because there's a guy on the... I didn't want that guy to... I'm kind of going against the pattern here a little bit, so. Um, but yeah, nice flyer here. I'm going to come in kind of slow by the camera. I'm going to drop a little flaps. I put in a little bit of elevator flat mixing, but yeah, nice flying model. Look at that. This is just the second flight on it, though. We got wind from the left, so now now it's a headwind because I'm going straight up. So I'll power up and go straight up with it. So that's not bad. I would not have expected this plane to have like really that kind of vertical. That's impressive. And what are you running in it? Um, it's a three cell 3200 Spectrum pack. Nice. So yeah, I mean it's, uh, For I thought three, it was though. relatively a kind of a benign airplane, but it's a nice trainer. 
Let me do some steep turns out front. I'm gonna turn it tight right out front. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that nice? All right, I'll straighten it out right now. Rolling it. Yeah, very cool, very cool. Get it inverted in a turn. Little inverted steep turn here. I mean, I, I am impressed that this plane will do all this stuff. I would not have thought that it, you know, would do all that that well. So, not bad, not bad at all. Let me get some flaps in, full flaps. See if I can come by slower here. It doesn't seem to like full flaps as much, but but it, it, it'll get down to nice and slow, you see that? Very slow. Get a little touch out of it. Maybe not, maybe not, there we there go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> there, power up, flaps up, and look at that, it's climbing, I mean look at that, it really is climbing straight up. You got a good cloud reference today where you can see all that stuff. But yeah, nice airplane, let's uh, point roll, not perfect, but yeah, close enough for a point. <laughs> Especially in this wind. But here, I'll come by fast, that's full throttle, yeah check this out at Hobby Zone, nice airplane. Very cool little model. We're gonna get it on floats next and show everybody, I think. I'll probably just attach it to the end of this video. We'll go out a little later, Adam, if you're good, and just yep. do a float kind of demo of it. But yeah, nice little model. I mean, it's, let's drop all full flaps again. Yeah, nice, nice airplane. That's close. <laughs> Over the lake. All right, I'm going to bring it in. I think that's about all we need to do with it. It'll probably go all day on a 32. Wow. Let's check. Um, that's without flaps. Oh, now it's full flaps. I heard full flaps in it. Nice model, folks. You can even see the wingtip lights. See that red light on there? Oh, yeah. Showing it lights up, good. up It lights up pretty good. But real impressed with it. Like I said, it's got nice details on it. Um, it even has this little glue-on step. I don't know if you can see the step. Oh yeah. It's just a little scale detail, little exhaust pipes, but nice flying plane. Let me do a little, let me do a little battery meter check here. Um, let me stick this on here. Tell you what we got going on here. What do you think, man? That's. I like that plane. It's a nice, impressive little model. I mean, it's not bad. I have 53 percent. Wow. So not bad. I mean, and again, that's a 32, three cell smart pack. So. A uh, really nice model, folks. I'm running it on my uh, my NX10. I got the safety on there. It's a beautiful airplane. Uh, that was just the second flight out. Again, I trimmed it and tuned it before, got it going, and uh, yeah, it's a nice model. So guys, check this out. Um, you know, coming from Hobby Zone, the Tectum 2010. And uh, what I'll do is we're going to go out to the float field here shortly, or maybe tomorrow, and I'll tack that onto the end of this so you guys can see this flying on float. So. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Actually, actually, I tell you what, we're just going to put this at the end. Instead of doing that, we're just going to do a float demo, and we'll tack it on to the end. Of, so let's get to the float field. But we got the wheel demo. Now we're doing the floats. Uh, all I had to do is remove the eight screws. You know what? I'm going to move over here. I think the light's better. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> uh, I had to remove these eight screws right here. Uh, get the main gear off and put this on. Put the screws back on with the, the little uh, straps. And then I removed the nose gear as well. There's just three screws right there. And I threw a little bit of tape over there. I ran the wire along the edge here. I don't know if you can get in on that better there. Yep. But I ran the wire along here, down here. I put a little bit of tape. Just keep water out of it, that's all. And then on the inside, you just go ahead and you plug in um, your uh, your rudder. It's kind of, it's, well, I don't know where it is. It's, it's one of these. But there's a Y harness and you just plug your rudder water rudder into the into the Y harness and it's already wired up so uh, I'll plug this in and I'll let this thing boot up this does have the vector gyro in it stabilizer so let's plug that in but check this out at Hobby Zone nice flying model it flew well off the grass for us even though it's pretty thick here let everything boot up and make sure everything's going the right way let's make sure we got good 
yeah, it's, it's correcting properly. Okay, we're good to go. I'm going to leave, actually leave it off, I think. But here, let's uh, tuck the wires back in. I'll do a quick pre-flight. And uh, let me check my ball links as usual. Make sure there's no saboteurs on the loose. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Check our water rudder. Let's see, make sure that's working okay. And it's pretty centered. I haven't messed with it. That's how it comes from the factory. Looks like it's a little off to the left or whatever. So uh, let's see, we got... Okay, right, left, up, down, flaps. Are right, you ready? Yeah. Ready to rock? Let's go. All right, let's see. There we go. Let's see how we can do with this. First flight, so I don't know. I don't know what's going to do. Let's see. Winds from the right, it looks like. So let me drive out. Kind of feeling it coming in on the back. It's side. coming. Actually, it's coming from ahead to the. Look at I'm the, looking at the flags. Yeah, can you the, see the flags out there? Yeah, and the water ripples are heading our way. Yeah. Let's see how we can what we can do with this. See how it taxis out there. There we go. Just gonna drive it around a little. That's yeah, driving nice. All right, here we go. Let's turn it around. It's got good good rudder authority. That's nice. Yeah, turns great. All right, here we go. Take it off. There we go. I had to peel that off a little bit. That's okay. Yeah, it's flying okay. Oh, that looks great, Rich. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. It's flying nice. There we go. All right, let's see if we can loop it around. Yeah, nice. Not a bad little flying plane. I got a tailwind right now, so let's see. Yeah, it's flying good. I don't even have a stabilizer on. Okay, let me let me throw that on because it is a little windy. Let's see what it does. Yeah, it seems all right. Let me trim it a little bit. Yeah, maybe the stabilizer will be helpful. I don't have it on the uh, the wing leveling mode or anything, but. But yeah, nice. Yeah, it's aerobatic. Oh, sorry, I might have lost you there. No, I can't. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Yeah, nice, nice. It's flying well. Going into the wind now, sort of. Yeah, not bad, not bad. That looks so good. Yeah, it's a good, it's a nice model. I, I can definitely, definitely recommend this. Technum. My only request is I'd love to have a reversing prop, you know, for being in the water. Oh, yeah. So, but but other than that, man, I tell you, it's a nice model. New coming from uh, Hobby Zone. These are just our first our first flights on it. Okay, let me bring it in slow. Let's drop some flaps, see how it does with flaps with a tailwind. Let me do that into the wind. I'm going to turn around. A little more into the wind anyway actually I don't need all that flap that's killing me there actually the wind is coming from our left yeah, over here isn't it changed it changed oh it did change here. it did change oh wow all right okay so I guess we are going the right way now yeah it does seem to change every three seconds around here yeah look at that sweet a little bouncy we're getting some turbulence off those trees behind us I think Watching out for that post. Yeah, that's slow flying. I'm going to point it up. Yeah, it's not doing it today here. <laughs> we're getting good vertical. It might be the floats because we were getting good vertical the other day, but we didn't have floats on it either. So, so yeah, here, let's see. Yep, sorry about that. Gotcha. Let me roll it back around here. Come from here, do a little, little better inverted pass than I just did. Okay, thank you. Thank you, drive through. Yeah, flies well even in this wind. Can't complain about that. Let me drive it way out here, and I'll come back across the, come back across the equipment here. <laughs> it's like an old Winnebago over there. Yeah, baby. 
That is fun. Holy smokes. That looks awesome. That's a nice little airplane, sure I gotta is. admit. They did a good job on this one. So yeah, Hobby Zone, guys. Technum 2010, it's an Italian trainer plane. Basically, probably Italy's version of Cessna. But yeah, nice model. I think it's meant for a 2200, but I put a 3200 in mind. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come around this tree here. Let's see. Play some rock music here. Nice, very nice. I can even see those wingtip lights. All right, let me see if I can give it a landing here. Out of it. Yeah, very nice. Let's see. Power's off. I'm just kind of gliding it right. Yeah, there you go. Wow, that's excellent. That was awesome. I'm, I'm impressed. Wow. Let me get another takeoff out of it here. I'm going to go. The taxi's well fast even. Jeez. Look at that rooster tail. I know. <laughs> Uh, actually, we're going. The wind is coming from our left now, actually. So that's why I landed that way. We took it was the other way when we took off. Look at that. Look at this look jumping at that. up in the air. Cool. I'm not even looking at it, and it's flying. Look at that. <laughs> this is nice. It's like a wheelie machine here. I tell you, it's real stable taxiing. Seems if, like you have plenty of authority on the water too. Yeah, you if turn. you've got an yeah, you do. Sometimes they say I have a hard time turning, but this says good. Yeah. I like it, yeah. Um, if you guys have an FMS plane, you probably, depending on which one it was, if you have one with floats, you could probably use the floats for that instead of buying uh, another set of floats for this, so. There we go, nice. I like this. You get any pictures, babe? Very nice, wow. More to this plane than meets the eye. Oh, I just got hit by some wind there. I saw that. Let's try some flaps here. Full flaps. Let's see how it lands. Yeah, it'll get really slow. Wow, I'm impressed. Holy crap. Bright LEDs. I you can, can see them. Yeah, you can see the LEDs big time on this thing. It's like a race car, man. Look at that. I like this. I like the rooster tail. Yeah. Let me bring it by. Bring it by again. It's like a race car on the water. <laughs> I'm going to hit the pipe. No. <laughs> Let me, uh... <laughs> see, once I start doing this, this is where I break stuff. Yeah, let's see. Let's turn it around. Stop it. It handles well in the water. Like really well. Take it off. I probably ought to bring it in. My battery's maybe about gone. You've got roughly five, six minutes. Okay. I'll bring it in. Let's check the battery. Landing. Power's off. Just drop it right in. Let's see, really nice, man. That little bouncer there. All right. Well, we got to show that too. <laughs> oh, that's here. If you want to stay where you are, Adam, I'll just bring it over okay. here. Get the safety on. Outstanding. Digging this, guys. Check it out at Hobby Zone Technum 2010 on floats. We'll have the wheel flight for you guys as well. And uh, actually, we were going to tack that onto the end of that thing, weren't we? Yes. Okay, so I'll tack this onto the end of that one. So, all right, it might be a longer video than we thought, but I, I forgot all about that. So, anyway, all right, well, the wheel demo then is going to be before this. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, let's see what we got here. Let's look at, uh, let's see, you want to wager what battery I got left? I'm going to say 38. 38, that's a 3200 pack. So, let's see what we got. 3840. See what we got. Yeah, they put this on the wrong side. You and me are on the same page about that. Yep. I'm always trying to stick it into the other. 26. 26. 20, so close enough. Not bad, but uh, but a real nice model, guys. Great on wheels. Great on floats. Uh, yeah, awesome bird. Again, checking out at uh, Hobby Zone. It's really nice. Three cell powered. Uh, yeah, check it out there. So, any more comments? Suggestions? I like this thing. It's nice. Um, all right, guys, that is it. Come to Seth. It's still Wednesday. There's time to come. I'll, I'll probably post this next week because the internet here is horrible. <laughs>
<laughs> for uploading videos. So, guys, thanks for watching. RC Informer, Adam, thanks for filming. And as guys, we've got more videos coming, so check it out. Stay tuned, like, and subscribe. See you, all, see you guys next time.